question. Find the last two digits of seven to the power of seven to the power of seven. Now, to find the last two digits, what we're looking for is some sort of a congruence. So for the last two digits, for example, 289 is congruent to 89 modulo 100. So if we're working in this modulus, it will give us our last two digits. Now this number here will be need to be between 0 and 99 to give us our correct congruence, because this is also congruent to minus 11 mod 100. Obviously the minus 11 is not what we want. We want the positive value. Okay, now first place to start would be for Euler's phi function. We need to plug in some value for this using Euler's phi function. So ideally what we're looking for is seven to the power of seven to the power of seven is congruent to seven to the power of some number alpha mod 100. If we find what seven to the power of seven is congruent with 100, that's not necessarily gonna work for this uh, question here. So what we're looking for is, this bit here is what we're looking for now to get to this bit. So what we want is seven to the power of seven is congruent to alpha modulo. Now, instead of writing the 100, I'm gonna write phi of 100. I'm just gonna leave the bracket open for one minute. Now, phi of 100, we can work this out. It's a multiplicative property. Phi of 100, okay. Now, using the formula, use the formula here. Phi of a, b, so a times b, is equal to phi of a, phi of b. But 100, we can break this down into phi of 25 and phi of four. <clears throat> but this gives us a bit of a problem because this is only valid if the GCD of a comma b equals one. So basic common divisor of a and b is one, that is correct. But we also need a and b to be prime numbers. which is not the case. So we've got a situation here where we've got phi of, now 25 we know is five squared, and phi of four is two squared. Now there's a formula we can use for that. So just put this in a box. Now we can say phi of a prime number to some power, let's call it A, this is the same as P to the A minus one. So that's all in the power of that prime number, multiplied by the prime number minus one. So this we can use, because five and two are both prime numbers. So let's work these out separately. So, Phi of five squared, using this formula, that's going to be P, which is five, the A minus one, so two minus one, which is just the one, and then multiply that by the prime number minus one, so five minus one. So that's going to be five times four, which gives us 20. And then likewise with the phi of two squared. So then that's gonna give us two to the power of one times two minus one. So two times one is two. So therefore phi of 100, so therefore phi of 100 equals 40. So I'm going to write in here equals 40. Just squeeze that there for our modulus. Okay, 
So now starting on a new line, 7 to the power of 7 is congruent to some number alpha modulo 40. Okay, and 40 is still a big number. So I'm going to go one more uh, level on this one. So now I'm going to change this to 5 of 40 and then calculate what 5 of 40 is. Okay, so now I'm going to do this working out on here, the way we did this. So phi of 40, now that's going to be equal to phi of 8 times 5. So phi of 8 is 2 cubed, and then phi of 5. Let's just give it a little bit of space in the box. Phi of 5. A 5 of 5 is okay, that's a prime number. But 5 of 40, let's see what we got for, uh, sorry, 5 of 2 cubed. So 5 of 2 cubed, that equals P to the A minus 1 times P minus 1. That's our formula. P is our prime, so that's 2. 3 minus 1 gives us another 2. Then the prime minus 1 is just 2 minus 1. So 2 squared is just 4. And then phi of 5, and the answer to that is 4. So therefore, phi of 40 equals 4 times 4, which equals 16. So 16, when you're working with the number 7, that's going to make things a lot easier. So 7 to the 7 is congruent to alpha modulo 16. Okay, so we can work with that. 7 modulo 16, we can use some powers of 7 and stuff like that. So 7 to the 7 is 7 squared times 7 squared times 7 squared times 7. Let's put a number one there. So that's our seven to the seven. That's congruent to a number alpha mod 16. Okay, seven squared is 49. So we've got 49 times 49 times 49 times seven, congruent to alpha mod 16. Now you can plug that in your calculator and see what you get, but that's gonna be pretty hard going. But it's a nice little shortcut because 49 is congruent to 1 mod 16. So we can just plug in a 1 for the 49s. So now we're left with 1 times 1 times 1 times 7. It's congruent to alpha mod 16. So now we've got 1 times 1 times 1 times 7. That's all good. 7 is congruent to alpha mod 16. So therefore, we let our alpha equal 7. So let's just write this up here. Alpha equals 7. So now I'm going to take this off the board and resume it at this line here. So now our question is, we need to go back to modulo 100 to find our answer. So we need 7 to the alpha is congruent to our 7, well alpha is 7, 7 mod 100. Okay, now what can we do with this 7? We need some powers of 7 to help us with our mod 100. Now the 7 squared is not going to work because that's 49. But we know that 7 cubed, 49 times 7, 7 fours are 28, so that's 280. 7 nines are 63, so that's that one. So that's 343, which is congruent to 43 mod 100. Just put an M there for short, just a quick calculation. So that's 43. So we can rewrite this 7 to the 3 times 7 to the 3 times 7 is congruent with some number which I'm just going to call now. We'll call this x mod 100.
X will give us the answer to our question. So seven cubed, or well, seven cubed we know is 343 and mod 100 is just 43. So we can substitute a 43 into these two and the seven. So 43 times 43 times seven is congruent with X mod 100. <clears throat> okay, let's just take this calculation off. Okay, 43 times 43, so what's that going to give us? 43 squared, or we could do 43 times 7. Well, 43 squared is a little bit complicated, so I'm not going to go down that route. 43 times 7, we can do what that is. So that's calculating this. So 7 times 43, 7 4 is a 28, 7 3 is a 21, 3 that gives us 301. So that gives us a little bit of look. 301 is congruent with 1 mod 100. So I'm going to just plug in a 1 for this value. So now I've got 43 times 1 is congruent with x mod 100, which gives me 43 is congruent with x mod 100 so therefore my x is 43 okay so that's going to give me the answer to my question so now I'm just going to write here the last two digits of 7 to the 7 to the 7 is 43 and that's going to give me the solution to the question now you can try plugging that in or doing some other methods let me know how you get on and you can tell me if 43 is the correct answer or not